Alsace Mission The Alsace Mission 1943 to 1945 was an allied, almost exclusively British and American, operation conducted in Italy, France, and Germany during World War II 1939 to 1945. The mission assessed the nature and extent of the German atomic weapons program begun April 1939 following the German discovery of fission December 1938 and seized or destroyed any material, equipment, resources, facilities, and personnel that might be used by the Soviets or the French to the close the gap in the atomic weaponry developed by Britain and the United States US, or to enhance that existing technology. Alsace, Greek for Grove, was an extension of the Manhattan Engineer District, MED, also known as the Manhattan Project, and was a play on the name of the MED's military director, Major General Leslie M. Groves, 1896 to 1970. Albert Einstein's letter, August 2, 1939, to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, alerting him to the probability of that an extremely powerful bomb based on technology in which Nazi Germany was believed to have a two-year development advantage prompted not only the creation of the MED, but the need for accurate intelligence on the status and potential of the German program. The Alsace mission was proposed 1943 by General George C. Marshall and was initially directed from London, December 1943. The Alsace mission was prosecuted in three phases, Phase 1, Italy, Phase 2, France, and Phase 3, Germany. Lieutenant Colonel Boris T. Pash, 1900-1995, an Army intelligence officer who had assisted in the security vetting of the scientific director of the Meds Los Alamos site, Robert J. Oppenheimer, was the overall commander of Alsace from its inception. Captain Horace Calvert commanded the London staff of office personnel, interpreters, and counterintelligence, and Dr. Samuel Goudsmit led the scientific team. The London unit was responsible for liaising with the MED, field logistics, finding the 50-some German scientists thought to be engaging in atomic research, locating pertinent material and facilities, and extracting and evaluating information related to nuclear science. The first Alsace mission that entered Italy following the Anzio invasion, January 22, 1944, found little pertinent information. By the time of the second Alsace mission began August 9, 1944, Calvert had assembled dossiers detailing potential locations for all of the top German scientists as well as other persons of interest, including the French physicist Frédéric Joliot-Curie. Joliot-Curie's interrogation revealed that the Germans had made no real progress in their atomic weapons program and provided the Alsace team with further information on some of the German scientists being sought, most prominently the uranium researcher Eric Schumann, the nuclear physicist Kurt Diebner, the nuclear experimentalist Walter Both, as well as Abraham Essau, Wolfgang Gertner, Eric Bagg, and Werner Maurer. The French phase of the Alsace mission moved its headquarters to Paris fall 1944 and from there directed the hunt for the target German scientists and their research facilities, analyzed and evaluated information, and supported teams advancing with the Allied armies. It was during this phase that Alsace determined Heckingen, Germany, to be a location of interest. Phase 3 began with Alsace's entry into Germany on February 24, 1945. This phase was complicated by the British and American determination to prevent any of the German atomic research personnel, material, and facilities from coming under the control of the Soviets, even if it meant the destruction of those assets. Rather than allow it to fall to the Soviets, one such research facility, the Oranienburg Argeselschaft works north of Berlin, was destroyed on March 15, 1944, by a flight of 612 B-17 flying fortresses. Alsace's April 1945 operations met with great success. Diebner's laboratory in Frankfurt was captured on April 12th and Operation Big captured a nearly operational German atomic pile at Heigerloch in southwest Germany. Calvert located the bulk, 1,100 tons, of the German supply of uranium ore in an industrial research association WIFO, salt mine near Stasfurt, Germany, and Colonel John Lansdale seized the cash on April 17th. Operation Harborage, designed to deny the French access to targeted nuclear assets, captured Heckingen April 24 with its heavy water plant moved from Norway following the Allied attempts to destroy the German atomic research there, Operations Freshman and Gunnerside as well as heavy bombing. An atomic physics laboratory was also seized along with two of the three most wanted German scientists, Otto Hahn and Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker, as well as Max von Laue. 
Information Garnered from this trio led Alsace to believe that the most prominent remaining scientist, Werner Heisenberg, who had conducted atomic pile experiments at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute 1940 at roughly the same time as Enrico Fermi's Columbia University experiments, and perhaps other persons of interest, were in Munich or Erfeld. During interrogation in Alsace's forward headquarters in Heidelberg, April 27, von Weizsäcker disclosed that the records of Germany atomic research were in a sealed metal drum secreted in a cesspool behind his home. Alsace captured Walter Gerlach, the discoverer of spin quantization, on May 1, 1945, and Diebner on May 3 with Colonel Pasch personally capturing Heisenberg on May 2. Ten of the most prominent German atomic researchers, including Heisenberg, Hahn, and von Weizsäcker, were relocated to a British intelligence safe house in Farm Hall, Great Britain, and interrogated for six months until January 1946. The Alsace mission ended on October 15, 1945, after determining that the German atomic bomb project had stalled in 1942 due to underfunding and understaffing and after successfully gathering and debriefing the scientists vital to the program while preventing them and their knowledge from aiding either the Soviets or the French in the development of their atomic weapons programs. Alsace was a small unit that at the end of the war had a roster of 114 people.